Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carbo Gaming and another Destiny 2 Season of the Splicer video. Well, it's the end of the season, but we have an awesome ending mission as prophesied. And in today's video, we're going to go over this full quest line that's given us some amazing cutscenes to wrap up the end of the season of the Splicer. So if at any given time you found this video helpful or just just a little bit entertaining, please by all means follow, like, and subscribe on all social media platforms, but especially on YouTube, help these videos get out there in the YouTube algorithm and I'm able to give back more. Thanks for watching everybody, let's get started. Now we have a brand new mission to wrap up this season called as Prophesy. The first thing first that you need to do is head into the helm and speak with the Splicer Surveyor that's so going to get us started on this quest line as Prophesy. Next, we need to head over and listen to Lancashim 2 as she gives us the details about the mission and about what we have been doing this season. After that, the quest will update and we need to head into a new mission, the override last city, but this time it's going to be different. It's going to be a ton of dialogue along the way. So enjoy the end of the season. There's going to be a lot of dialogue and a lot of cutscenes that we're going to get into this video. But for right now, we need to finish up this mission. Override Lost City. Now, look, it is a lot of fun. Like I said, a ton of dialogue, and it is quite lengthy, a little bit longer than what you would expect for your normal override missions. After that, we get taken into the Nexus as we need to fight off and fight against this guy right here. Proteus, the subjugated mind. Now, after you finish taking out that big Vex big body over there, the quest will update once again. And we're gonna head into the very next part of the quest step. So, first thing first, take out the guy like so, and the quest will update as prophesied. We need to speak with Saint 14. Now, after we get up out of here, you're gonna get yourself another lovely cutscene. So, without further ado, the amazing cutscene between Saint 14 and the Fallen. Here we go. The Guardian has broken their portal! Keep behind us! We will not let them harm you! Stand, friend! You will not fall today! More than enough. y'all but it looks like Saint 14 just turned his back on everybody which is kind of insane but after that lovely cutscene you will then immediately spawn into the tower where we need to talk to Saint 14 we have another cutscene so without further ado ladies and gentlemen here we go Guardian the city remains we have wrestled another day from those who would take it but not without loss and not alone, Elixir, Mithra, they stood with us, brothers and sisters in battle. This is a bond that cannot break. Their lost will be buried beside our own. Ikora was wise to look to our future instead of the past. We must remember that it is the Elixir who came to us. 
Lay down arms for a chance at peace. These are not the fiends Lakshmi made them out to be. That bravery demands respect and deserves recognition. The House of Light is part of the city now, under the protection of Saint-14. In time, the memories of our past demons will fade, and our peoples will share laughter and stories. Our victory today will be one of them. More famous than Twilight Gob, I will make sure of it. Hey, you gotta love us some Saint 14, am I right? Now, after we finish that lovely cutscene, we have one more cutscene. That's right, from here, we need to head over to Icor to finish up this quest line. So, let's head over to Icor and let's see what she has to say. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Look at the city. The skies are slowly clearing. The streets are filled with dead Vex, dead Elixir. Future war cult has scattered to the wind, but we recovered Lakshmi's body from the site of the attack. In the end, she was right about the tragedy looming on our horizon. If only she could have foreseen that it was of her own making. Now Dead Orbit has finally made good on its promise to leave the city and take a new monarchy with it. The factions are no more. Honestly, I will miss their presence here. After all, Lakshmi did not speak for the future war cult. Some of her own people warned me she was becoming unstable, and I feel I let her slip away. I haven't told Saint yet, but I've been unable to locate Osiris. Even though Lakshmi implicated him in the attack, I don't believe he did. Osiris is a good man. Saint and I will both vouch for him. All he has to do is return to the city to clear his name. I saw the blight that was forming in our own citizens, but I never thought it would lead us here. Eris once said, we will only know our enemy's next move if we are wise enough to recognize it. My eyes are wide open now. Stay ready. So what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? The season has come to an end. With that, as prophesied, mission is completed. And we are on to the very next season. Pretty epic ending, if I don't say so myself. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you truly enjoyed it. Once again, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? Welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carbo Gaming, I upload a wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guides and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, I hope you had a wonderful season, my guardians. I'll be making a ton of videos coming in the next one. So once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one, my guardians. Later.